Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. Let's get started on our Colosseum in a second uh, and any other wonders that might be available to us. Not too many that we've unlocked that can we, we can even build here. Uh, builders, obviously super important. Gonna go ahead and improve that chop and just wor work our builder up and around. Um, we're two turns away from that. What do I want you to build then? I need to get that. I can't buy tiles. So I guess we're just looking at like let's let's get that or maybe the watermill first. We have that. We'll start to look at locking in districts soon, hopefully. Should you scrap the game going for science, but no aluminum? I mean, you can make it work. It just depends how much you want to finish it, right? Like that's that's totally up to you. Ooh, -wee. take an envoy to Geneva. Hey, don't do that, you guys. Quit beating up Geneva. Wow, <clears throat> siege weapons coming. Come on, archers, get up there. I really don't want to have to buy one. I want this Coliseum so bad. All right, I've got reinforcements coming. Hopefully they get there in time. Oh, she settled this. I mean, I have to buy tiles away from you. My man. I mean, I can't right now, but maybe in the long run. Football manager player. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I can't even really do this, can I? Maybe I'll see if I can bring you down. <clears throat> Ouchies. We're in trouble, you guys. We're going to have to take back yet another city. Oh, my God. Because our, our walls are already down. Hey, it's that time of the month. Keep it up, TGM. Hey, Sarge, thank you so much. Welcome back for 32 months. My dude, much appreciated. Thank you so much. How you been? That was amazing. That was, that was absolutely brutal. All right, so now we can make our play. Oh, I didn't time it out. I got distracted in between videos. I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll wait for chops for next turn. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this arena. This chop never applies anyways. So we'll, we'll make it now. And then we'll try to get this Coliseum. may need all of my troops. I guess we'll do this. We're trying for Coliseum, Sarge. It should be more gettable these days. Well, the AI, the deity AI crossbows or catapults are strong for the same reason that your... Uh, ca Let me start over. The deity catapults are strong for the exact same reason that, the, that catapults for you suck. Because of that plus four combat strength swing. Yeah, they're on their home continent. Yeah, and he has nine total. Four, four plus the five.
Yeah, and he has a general. I cannot imagine in He's rocking a lot of combat strength. So we're definitely going to have to retake this city. So I shouldn't overcommit <clears throat> to going there now. All right. Um, really can't. I, I think I want Twilight Valor. I'm going to need that. And then I'll drop urban planning here for the wonder policy. While the Colosseum stands, Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Magnus plus policies, pretty pog, pretty pog. All right, now we have a, fa a fast policy sw switch to get back out of that. Um, and we can also try to try to reinforce, uh, like we should maybe lock in districts, um, but we should also try to reinforce and take back the city that we're about to lose. So how do we do that best? I do have iron. I could pre-build a couple knights. That might, that might be fine, actually. Five turns till knights. That'll help a lot. So that's a nice big culture boost for us. I don't think I want to send this guy out, do I? I don't really have a reason to quite yet. Do I keep Magnus here? What am I building that I want Magnus in the cap here? I guess he always kind of wants to live there, doesn't he? So we lose this city this turn. That sucks. We're going to lose like 90% of a builder there. Really need to get this going. Okay, that didn't make sense. All the world's a stake. That didn't make a lick of sense. Get rid of that now. Just bring in urban planning again, I think. Still think I'm looking at builders in a lot of cities. Actually, not really. I don't know what that AI move was. We should we should have lost our city that turn for sure. I can't switch back to oligarchy. We would go into unrest. Um, well, this kind of sucks, but we can actually build a holy site just to use it. I could also pass this one. I could just pass this. So we can get some faith and then we could get <clears throat> effectively... Build a holy site here, plus two, three, four, five. Like, turn that into five science. But it's committing to a district that I otherwise don't really want in order to make it happen. So I think I'm just going to pass it. I love that this is required for OCC Russia, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm going to pass it.
Just building what I can at the moment. I don't kill it anyways, so I'd rather I'd rather focus the movement. Try to get my troops up here. <laughs> you should be, Bose. It's amazing. Hi, Chimera. How are you? How are you? Yeah, let's try to get that builder out of there. I don't know if there's anything else I can really do here to help. If I start the swordsman, lose the iron, and then lose the city, do I get the iron back? Probably not. It is a beautiful day. I would really love to go outside today. Chimera. Yeah, the culture boost is was absolutely massive. Took my builder, but I'll take the distraction over losing the city any day of the week. Hope I'm not exposing too many. These crossbows are very, very deadly. Hopefully I'm not overexposing these units. I need to get their industrial zone. I need to plan that rear. Oh, that was for you. Oops. Oopsies. Do I think an encampment would be useful? No, it's too late for that. Uh, encampments are a proactive war move. Like, you want to be... Um, you really want to be on the offense, like if you if you're uh, you know if you're planning to go to swords or knights or something like that and and take over your opponent. At this point, getting getting a uh, an encampment doesn't do much besides get me an extra city center shot. And in that case, I'd almost rather have the crossbow because it's more mobile. Like the uh, the odds of me building an encampment and then getting a, a general in time, which is the primary function of a of a of an encampment in a situation like this. Um, the odds of us getting a general are pretty low. Yeah, they can stock resources, but that's not really a, an issue for us, right? Right? Like, like we're 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 dealing with units, and we need to kill those. So, building our own units is really just the best way to do that. I think I want to chop out this crossbow too. I need it. I'd rather this chop go to Magnus City. 
but I want to get closer to this. I keep, I keep being lazy and not checking my tiles, and I should check those tiles. You are welcome. Thank you for the question. Per use. Go ahead and get some walls there in case Scythia wants to join in on this. So they took the city, but now they're they're bleeding units to me. And this is a yes. We finally get something in our favor. Uh, Lima, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. damage. I will vote both and hope that we get it. Failed. Teddy Brozevelt wasn't so bro -y that time. Few inventions Bummer. for a night so I can get one or two. <clears throat> What's up, Potato? How you doing? Alright, I know I want to get to vertical integration. I don't need black marketer, so we'll just we'll just start down this route. We're actually heading that way in the tree. Alright, so how does our rur rur work? I really don't care about the adjacency on it itself. So I think I just build like a bad industrial zone and try to build a really good theater square. It's like kind of weird, but I think this is better. Oops. This wants to be rur. And then one, two, and then if I just toss you there, this is like a plus, it's a plus one industrial zone. It's uh, it's 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 not ideal, but I don't need it to be ideal. I only need it to, to build a, uh, Rur. And then this gives me a plus four theater square. Patella under ivory, you cannot build things underneath uh, luxury and strategic or on top of luxury and strategic units. Unfortunately. I guess that's fine. Vertical integration gives us uh, the ability to 
get mo this is this is the whole play this is the whole thing we're doing this game is, is going after vertical integration which is why we've built a lot of other or planned at least a lot of other industrial zones beyond just that oh it is five yeah yeah because yeah, this district because like the best case scenario is i get a slightly better industrial zone here and I just don't find that to be necessary. Either that or I'm overriding like hills for aqueducts, and I'm not doing that. But is it generally worth it to destroy a mine, for example, and replace it with a district? When it's a really good district. Right? So like, yeah, I'm 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 overriding a hill here for, for the aqueduct. This city isn't all isn't starved for hills in the first place, so that's a, a part of being comfortable doing that sort of a thing. And then it's also gonna make this industrial zone quite good. Um so yeah. No dam. We can't build dams. Uh, we don't have floodplains at all, like in our empire. So, can't build a single dam. I want to make sure I get my golden age here. So, building the libraries, I think, makes sense. Um, locking in the industrial zone also makes sense. I think I'm going to go with the library. Well, no. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do industrial zones. Aqueducts give housing for Maya. Yeah, because none of their cities have uh, housing from fresh water. So aqueducts are amazing for Maya. I don't think I want, I guess I do want the crossbows. I don't know. These are, our, our, our whole cheese are, are almost um, crossbows as is. So I think I'd rather commit to the knights rather than the crossbows. Ouchies. If I were again begin. The sword could help too, actually. Yes, Arctics. Pretty much. We could find Niter. Finding Niter could definitely give us some uh, more interesting industrial zone choices, but at this point, they might also just kind of screw up some of the plans we have. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to go tech it right, th right now. When in doubt, get a builder. Again, I really want to get that, but I can't. I'd be able to put districts on strategics, your biggest pet peeve. Interesting. Yeah, these crossbows, man. Absolutely brutal. All that glisters it. My man. Absolutely brutal. So what do we lose there? We lost 
two of our pulchies. This is not a better. <laughs> this is unfortunately not a better scientist. Uh, so we could go ahead and pass it again, but then we're waiting quite some time. So I'll probably just grab it and feel pretty bad about it. These don't really help right now. I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to commit elsewhere. We could be committing to Pingala. Certainly the better thing to do. Um. I didn't mean to pick that promotion. My bad. Let me get the aqueduct first. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll that'll give us era score for these industrial zones. Or at least the first one. When you pass, does nobody get the scientist? No, people do. You you give other people an opportunity and an accelerator actually to get it. This is also era score for the time being. So two random techs, tech boosts, and one uh, Eureka for the for, for the civics tree, medieval and Renaissance era. This will get. So we should save it. Should definitely save it. Why does the theater square have a plus three bonus? Uh, Coliseum's worth two. Built Wonders give a plus two to theater squares. And then every two adjacent districts gives one more. And your city centers count as a district. So one, two gives me the third. <laughs> Professional army for che cheaper upgrades. I got I to gotta let that accumulate for a few turns before I even have the money for it. Is every unit capable of sieging cities? Not like five where, where melee units did a little to no damage. Every unit is capable of sieging a city as far as the uh, like the health status of it. Um, but yeah, like like knights, for example, don't attack into walls very well. Um, versus like you can have a battering ram and <coughs> other units type of a thing. Melee units. Wonders are plus two. Is that because of DLCs? Um, yes. In vanilla, wonders were only plus one. Uh, so if you're rocking vanilla, that is definitely the case. We're at 9 and 10. You know what? Give me that. Did I? I don't know what I just clicked. <laughs> I was trying to get to this point. But I guess I popped the sciences. I mean, that's fine. That, that, it's actually a bunch of error score. I didn't even think about that part of it because we're in the uh, free inquiry. So it's really not that bad. Now we're only 13 shy of our golden. Yeah, the exploration boost was actually huge. I'll take it. Really want her to be an ally.
Crossbows are brutal. that Holy triple shots on my crossbows. An architect should live. This is brutal. Oh, I need to pop. I need Twilight, Twilight Valor out of here, don't I? I guess I trade. I trade a chariot here for a crossbow kill. It's somewhat reasonable. Yep, pretty much rip all of my archers. Feels pretty bad. Fun game though. It it it, it I, I like I like going up like new patches and stuff, making the AI feel like tougher. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, yeah, printing. I want the universities first. A long ways away from it. It's 14 turns. I don't even know if this war goes that long. It could. Yeah. This is a, this this feels really awful. Teddy is an absolute brutal opponent to be right next to. Sucks. Just try to grind it out, though. Um, all right. I mean, I hate building workshops. Crossbows Maya would devastate Teddy's upgrades, but I don't upgrade. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I I would love to be rich at the moment, but I don't. And instead, I'm making a much more conservative play by getting to exploration, so I can run the discount policy and upgrade them. But yes, if I magically was rich, that would have been that would have been a great strategy. This 
sweet. All right. Um, that's good. Like that. Like that. Cannot. I gotta wait one more turn before I can actually heal. for us. So here, here's where you can see exactly how punishing uh, disasters can feel uh, for for Maya. Uh, we're fortunately in a decent spot because we've built the aqueduct here, so we don't have we're not totally crippled on housing. But if I did not have that housing from the aqueduct, I don't know if it'll even tell me. Here, so six of my housing is coming from that aqueduct, right? So if I didn't have that and this drought happens, I just lost a ton of housing here and I would be well over housed. If I were also struggling with like loyalty or the golden age stuff, that would be really, really punishing, which is why I say that she's a pretty really, like she's a really bad sieve on higher difficulties or not on higher difficulties, on higher disaster settings. All right, and we are at Merchant Republic. That's fantastic. Finally. And we're getting very close. Oh, we got our, we have our heroic age. So we actually just want this era to end now. And then we are in Merchant Republic, which is great. We have a little bit of money now. We definitely don't want Twilight Valor. We need to take our city back, which means we have to have our troops outside of our homeland here. Uh, serfdom, we might even be done with too. Uh, okay, so I need the discount here for uh, for some for some units. I'll probably run both discount cards to make the most out of our iron. I want to keep conscription in there because our our army is eh, it's costing us a bit, um, and I don't have a ton of other amazing uh, policies to run at the moment. And then we're in a spot where we need to fill these out. I could run aesthetics. We're almost done with that theater square. No, we are done with that theater square. So I could get three culture per turn. That really doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, probably just... The builders aren't helping either, though. Maybe I just take... A little bit like two gold and this and a little bit of culture and then once I, i'll have to go unlock the science card and then that'll feel a lot better in the meantime we can run conscription and then both of the upgrade policies all right so now these are 125 to upgrade so next turn i can upgrade it while it heals or it can heal for now rather Never understood what being over the housing limit does. Uh, it, it stifles your growth. So, like, if you're over your housing limit, if you're approaching your housing limit, your population growth rate slows by half. If you if you hit your housing cap, your growth rate slows by 75%. So, again, it's more of an establishment problem. Like, this city is, has had the luxury of, of being able to grow and stuff. But but that can this type of a drought or whatever can cripple you early. We're at turn 117, so we're not, like, really in that spot, but... Don't really want to buy this. So 
So he's got knights too. The purpose of education. I've lived through some. T All right, so universities unlocked. That gives our cities that have campuses something to do. I think I'm headed towards uh, Rear Valley. Yeah, this is Deity single player. I have like nothing for this city to build. Great. Super cool. I guess. Yeah, I realized that I did that in the wrong order after I had done it. Bring in Pingala now. We're close enough to that. Frankly, Pingala here for a while. Probably going to make the most sense. And we can bring Magnus for maybe some chops. Something like that. Yeah, I've gotten the error score for the outstanding industrial zone there. Yeah, no, we're 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 over our era score, but we have ten turns left. So we're not too too far. Most certainly want to bring in natural philosophy way better than this. Pr better than aesthetics too. I don't have a great policy here at the moment. Uh I could run Serfdom again. We are gonna hit a golden age and maybe spend some of this faith on builders. It's interesting. I'm going to keep the upgrade policies in there for now, although I've already gotten the um, knights that I need. So I can just keep it this in there for the, for the last two crossbows that I can get. you dead you're dead well you're actually not dead Scythia is not doing a very good job killing them uh all eight of my cities are in the six tile radius well I only have seven at the moment but I just you just like really it's so hard to fight Teddy this is so inconvenient um Just like keep bleeding units. You can't you can't lose units on deity and feel good about it. Uh all right. I really don't want to give Teddy production, but I, I don't know what else to do other than try to vote for this and try to produce some knights or something. No, Zendark, it's not. just killing me with units well that's good that's actually both good did teddy vote for it yeah Eep. all right it's what they call an uphill battle Gonna lose more units now to this crossbow. We set up a nice defensive city and it just never worked out in our favor. 
We're in trouble, you guys. Uh, speaking of being in trouble, I don't want to get in trouble by making this video too long. So let's go ahead and put, in a cut, put a cut in here for now. Thank you so much if you've been watching over on YouTube. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.